This is the story of how a girl found her superhero by Jen Calloway. I first began my profession as a broadcast journalist in the Marine Corps. This is where I truly fell in love with the power of communication and storytelling. I was arranging interviews between our generals and the anchors on all the major global networks and transmitting the video you'd see in the background of news reports. While the news only aired the chaotic happenings, it was then that I caught a taste of how storytelling could highlight the fundamental good in some of the world's most difficult regions. When I got out of the Marine Corps, I basically fell apart and went to a really dark place, unfortunately. It was hard to wrap my head around some of the injustices I had seen. Eventually, I turned to fitness to help me rediscover who I was outside of a uniform and found the true lifesaver, community. I began to join in on local fitness events and my confidence grew each time I became involved with something bigger than myself. I learned I have a story to tell and started working with military veteran advocacy groups to tell the stories of female combat veterans. This work allowed me to meet empowered people telling their own stories all over the world. At this point, I started working with my local TEDx organization, managing their video production team. As many people know, the TED community is absolutely captivating, and I fell in love with the power of bringing people together around big ideas. My passion for storytelling and events turned into my own side business, creating socially impactful videos and events for local community leaders. It was about this time that I had first learned the concept of flow and discovered that when I'm planning an event that I know will benefit others, I'm enthralled with the work. Hours go by and I could go hours longer. As I sought a flow state more and more, my side hustle grew into a full-time profession, which I've done now for the past eight years. I love creating socially impactful events, yet the thought has continued to nag at me how can I leverage my global experience to take this work to a larger scale? When I fell to pieces after the military, I had to think long and hard about why and how I wanted to put myself back together. I felt incredibly lucky to be in a position to design my life however I wanted. I knew I loved storytelling and learned to embrace my childlike wonder. I knew I liked interviewing and learning about others, and I could get people fired up around big ideas and attract the right people to impactful causes. I knew if I could live forever, I wanted to be bringing people together, cultivating engagement to rally around big ideas and designing strategies to do so. It was at Thunderbird that I began discovering the incredibly innovative concepts occurring at the intersection of wellness and technology. For instance, the Fitbit began as a technology tool only available to the world's most elite athletes. Now available at scale, the Fitbit is used to support wellness in countless ways. This is just one example. I could go on and on about the developments happening in this arena. So I began to marinate on how my superpowers could directly support advancements in this realm. When the pandemic rocked the globe in 2020 and events came to a screeching halt, I found Thunderbird and instantly felt a connection. Thunderbird is the answer to that nagging question. How can I bring socially impactful events to a grander scale? I'm here seeking access to bigger companies with much more resources allocated towards socially responsible initiatives. Social impact strategist is how I currently identify myself. I craft meaningful experiences that bring the right people together at the intersection of wellness and technology, cultivating innovative solutions to the world's most pressing problems, fostering cross-industry developments between parties that otherwise never would have known their innovations hold the key and enable the most futuristic fourth IR technological solutions. I am an adventurer, and I'll soon tell you why. At this later stage in my career, my North Star guiding points are also my non-negotiables. I'm too honed in on who I am and what I can contribute to accept anything less than these personal values in my life. My work impacts the well-being of others. I'm project-based, no two days are the same. 
My work utilizes my unique set of experiences. I'm a member of a thriving team where my contribution is valued and respected. I have a healthy work-life balance and am rewarded commensurately for meaningful work. I 100% know what I want to be when I grow up at this point. So instead of trying on different monetary profiles, I focused my social impact strategist portfolio on the elements involved in making this successful. Different permutations of each facet will certainly vary, but what remains 100% true 100% of the time is that I practice what I preach. Because unless I'm taking care of myself, I'm incapable of helping anyone else. In conclusion, life is an adventure. And for me, it's been about facing it head on, failing quickly and often. And when that big one hit that completely knocked me out of the game, I had to dig deep and decide why and how I wanted to live. I made a decision to follow my bliss and risked everything for the belief that I could turn it into a career. There's a Charles Bukowski poem that I focus on often. He writes, if you're going to try, go all the way. You may face mockery, isolation, and rejection, and you'll do it, despite rejection and the worst odds, and it will be better than anything else you can imagine. If you're going to try, go all the way. There is no other feeling like that. You will be alone with the gods, and the nights will flame with fire. You will ride life straight into perfect laughter. It is the only good fight there is. And that is the story of how I found my inner superhero. Thank you.